praise the Lord. There is only one God that can save. There is only one God that can deliver. There is only one God that can heal. His name is Yahweh. His name is Jah. His name is Jehovah. His name is I Am. Is the God Most High. Is the Almighty God. Is the All Powerful God. Is the Omnipresent God. The Omniscient God. The Omnipotent God. The King of the Ages. The Glory of Israel. We come to you today by the Spirit of God. Let your name be magnified. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be praised. The King of Kings, the God of Gods, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega, the Ancients of Days, the King of the Ages. We worship you today. We give you glory. We give you adoration in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Morning Cry is coming to you from Save the World, a Christian ministry with a divine mandate to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Dr. Baba Tokwe Babalobi. This is a continuation of the series on the character of God. And today the Spirit of God is revealing God to us as a communicator. God is a communicator. God communicates, God talks, God speaks. And right in the, in the Bible, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, God started to speak. The Bible says, and God said. So God is a person that like expressing his feelings. God is a person that expresses his thoughts. God is a person that says what he wants. He expresses what he wants to come to pass. God is a person that when he sees something and he wants something to come to pass, he says it. That's a popular saying that a close mouth is a close destiny. Therefore, as a child of God, say out what you want. Speak out. God speaks. He speaks out. God doesn't close his mouth. When he sees something wrong, he says it. When he needs to rebook, he rebooks. When he needs to compliment, he compliments. God does not bottle himself up. He doesn't bottle his thoughts in his heart. So as a child of God, say it out. The Bible says that life and death is in the power of the mouth. God gives you a mouth and a tongue to say it, to, to, to express your feelings, to say something, to express your desire. And unless you say something, unless you ask, you cannot be given. Therefore, in your daily life, don't be afraid to make a request. Don't be as afraid to, to express your feeling. Don't be afraid to express your thoughts in your meetings, in your offices. Say it out. Don't bottle up your feeling. Even if you are going passing through some challenges, express yourself out. Share your feelings with somebody else. The God that you are serving is a communicator. He's always communicating. Again, I'm repeating the popular saying that a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Heaven is waiting for you to say something. Agents are waiting for you to prophesy. Any in the Bible, God said what he wants to come to pass. So anything that you want in your life, don't be afraid to say it out. The AI is waiting to listen to you. The sun, the moon, the stars, all the elements of the earth, they are waiting to hear what you have to say. Say it out. Prophesy. Express your feelings. Make a demand. Make a request. In life, you must say what you want. You cannot close your mouth and expect to achieve a breakthrough. Say out what you want. Be bold and courageous. Say it out as you go out today. The power for you to open your mouth and possess your possession by the power of your mouth. To receive that power in Jesus' mighty name. You shall not close your mouth and lose your opportunities in Jesus' mighty name. The people that God has apportioned and prepared to help you, you shall open your mouth and declare and request what you want in Jesus' mighty name. The power and the boldness for you to say out what you want. The power and the boldness for you to, to, to 
to open your mouth and say what the opportunity that you want. Receive that power, receive that spirit, receive that power, receive that spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you shall open your mouth and possess your destiny. You shall open your mouth and possess that job. You shall open your mouth and possess even that partner that God has prepared for you as your wife, as, as your husband. Say at your feeling, that sister is waiting for you. That brother is waiting for you. Say at your feeling. Open your mouth and say it out and possess that opportunity. Your mouth shall not be close to your destiny. Say out the word of God. Confess the word of God. Say out the scriptures. And the scriptures shall surely work for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.